said, even if it's just cleaning your brushes, do something every day. Um, there's always something to do. If you're making your own paint panels and paints and pigments and waxes, there's always some physical contribution to the work that you can make. It's not just quirky habit. These paints have such a strong body and such extraordinary luminosity, very, really powerful colours, that they change the way in which a picture looks. They also make it a lot more long-lasting. They make a painting incredibly durable because the amount of pigment in commercially made paints is very small. Um, so in actual fact, the colours are not very bright. And the more you pay for a tube of oil paint, the more pigment you get and the purer the oil. But this is pure oil and the purest of pigment, which is why my paintings have such a brightness in their colouring. My biggest influence is my father. And he was very, very busy working in the theatre as a theatre set designer. Um, the most exciting bit for us as children and the most arduous bit for my father as the designer was getting the sets, the theatre sets, on stage in preparation for a show. Every time we took a break, um, we'd go up into the lighting box and mess around with the lights and the amplifiers and the sound effects, but most particularly the lights. Lighting changes in a theater, changes everything. Um, it amplifies gestures, gives things more meaning, um, imbues simple gestures, simple activities with great significance. I realised after finishing my A-levels and then after doing my degree that I knew practically nothing about the very fundamentals of making a painting, of building a painting from nothing. And so I, I spent two years at home in a big room in my mum and dad's house. Um, I broke down my entire technique right the way down to how I hold a pencil, how I hold a paintbrush, what sort of paintbrushes I should use the different functions of the different paintbrush styles and shapes, um, what different oils do, their drying times and capacities, what pigments are compatible with what, um, and, how, and the whole substructure of a painting. I remember for one period when I was going through a particularly prickly phase where I couldn't quite work out how a certain phase in a painting would go. Um, I'd go up, to the, up the stairs into the studio, the, the room that I was using as a studio, get to the top of the stairs, sit down and be unable to go any f further, and wait until lunch, come down for lunch, and then go up and sit on top of the stairs again. And it was, uh, it was very, very difficult. Still life painting is not so much about uh, the material value of objects. It's about the beauty of the world in which we inhabit. I think simplest is best. And looking squarely and honestly at the world, like Vermeer, who painted what he saw, and yet in it is such a love and such peace and such tranquility um, that hordes of people through many, many ages have stood in front of them and felt completely moved, so. Still life painting is very focused on the things that human hands have made. And in order for them to, achieve, to 
remain beautiful, they have to have the same timelessness. The objects themselves have to have the same timelessness. Permanence is part of beauty. Um, everlastingness is part of beauty. And timelessness is part of beauty. Most modern paintings coming out of art schools are not varnished. They have no protection at all, none. They are pretty much unrestorable. It's, a, it's critical to the, to the long life and preservation of a painting that you cover the paint when it's fully dry with a layer which protects it and seals it. Makes them shine. I hear sometimes outside children shout, man in the shed, man in the shed. <laughs> and I have to come out, can you get my ball, please? <laughs> like the man in the shed. Um, Jonathan Cooper finest figurative picture dealer in London, a gentleman. He has the most gentle way of fostering talent, uh, the tenderest way of steering people. And if you deal with him straight, he can turn you from a painter with potential to a painter who has substance. He's a great man. I love him dearly.